I mean, I can understand why it would be hard for Shock because for a good portion of his life, Dixon was at least 18 years of his life. Dixon was, or not even 18, but like maybe 15 years of his life, Dixon was an important piece. Even though all that relationship was fake. Why? Why can I not see any further? Because that's where you end. Now that I possess both Monados, I should be at one with the passage of fate. Why does the vision end here? Huh? So Dixon has passed. Lorothea too. How can this be? Are Telethia growing weak? How could they be defeated by such worthless mortals? This world belongs to you all. Create a world with no need for gods. A world that has no need for gods. I would like you to <laughs> drop the ass. And then there is no world without a god. <laughs> I hate this. This world belongs to me! But I can say that, like, Zanza's like the epitome of if, if the evil won the whole time. Where are we? What happened? It's night time. Is Ricky have bad dream? Yeah, do you not see the, the asteroids? Nah. Look at all the stars. We're not on Bionis anymore. There's no land or sea either. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't tell me. This is how, this is another connection. That's crazy. That's crazy if it is. It makes sense if it is. But you're going to tell us we transported all the way there? No. Don't tell me that's the case. That's crazy. Actually, wait, I, I do want to fight him. The spirit of Munkar, what? I thought he was going to talk, that's why I wanted to fight him. Apparently not. But what I'm saying is, there was a an event that occurred to make... Xenoblade 1 and Xenoblade 2 even exist, and it would make sense that in its own little way... Or say, subtype of... Resemblance to it. I think it's just funny that we're fighting the spirit of Zorg, but he's still alive, technically. It's like we're taking a trip down memory lane before we do the final fight. Man, we really, we really have calm down memory lane here. The enemy's weak, but don't drop your guard. This is like chapters. Well, Mumkar was more. Well, he was the first one we fought technically. Then we fought Zord. Then we fought the Telethia. Who are we gonna fight next? Uh. Are we gonna fight? Our goal next. Oh, we're just skipping right to Gata. Okay. The enemy's weak, but 
Like, here we go. It's beautiful. Is that a ball of water? So, you finally made it, Shul. So, I would say around this time is when, uh, what is it, Rex and the gang are uh, at to the top of the world tree in chapter choose. 10. Let us meet again after you have made your choice. Uh. Yeah, because Alvis is literally saying to him, I'm not really uh, picking sides here. Welcome, Shulk. That voice. It's Anza. But he looks different. I had planned to use the body obtained from Shulk as a vessel in which to dwell for the next millennium. Only a, only a thousand years. I came to possess a great and unexpected power. Maynith's Monado. Correct. In addition to my own Monado, which you kept safe for me. I was also able to obtain a second weapon which holds the power of creation. Now I possess all I desire. There is no longer any need for the life of Bionis. I must thank you indeed, Shulk. You were of more use to me than any of my disciples. Hmm. Now that I have the Monados, I can forgive you. I mean, betrayal. It's true. Ha! You gonna give him a reward? Precisely. I will have him serve as my new disciple. Yeah, you will be why, though? eternal life and unimaginable strength. But the shark already has strength. Are you so arrogant to believe that the high entia? No. All life on Bionis are nothing but your playthings. Playthings. Hmm. Yes. You don't know how it feels to have slain my brethren after they had transformed into Telethia. What are you talking about? This is a true. Telethia is a high entity's true form. I did not transform them. I returned them. The Telethia are mere cells from my body. I conferred intelligence upon them on a mistaken whim, creating a primitive life form. The High Entia. Hmm. They enjoyed a brief existence as sentient beings. For that, they should be grateful. Huh. So this is the arrogance I of mean... the Creator. As I planned, the life of Bionis existed simply to serve as my vessels and my food. See, I, I want to... Like, like, honestly... ...than an accumulation of their corpses and life energy but though you think I'm think I'm thinking of this whole entire thing in a more a uh, that is how real life sense and if Dumban said something I like that really in real life for a while to the most high God with Maynard's vessel I simply await like, day when a new vessel revealed to me in a vision would be I just man I until I would feel I angry for him. Precisely. Like, like, I intended to inhabit your body. Kind of blasphemy is that? Do battle with Maynith. However, I had no idea that I would defeat her so easily. Like you act like the creator Maynith. cannot choose what to do with. Oh wow! You did a great deed in granting me a new Monado. I will gladly take you as my new disciple. Shulk. Never! I don't want to be your vessel or your disciple. I just want to live my life as a Homs in a world without you. That is most regrettable. You could have entrusted all to me and attained peace. 
but perhaps the vision of mortals will ever remain but yeah i mean limited like i was saying using one's power man, to change just... the world that is a right possessed only by gods is that why you lay like god, god created all things for his pleasure right Revelation 4, 11. If he chooses to do whatever he wants with them, it's all for his will and for his greater plan. Not saying that there isn't free will and mistakes happen, but to go against the most living God, the most high God, especially in our case, and I'm not just talking about a video game here, because, I mean, Zanza is clearly a false god, and he is evil, so kill him. Go ahead. But I wouldn't say Shulk and them are in the raid either. Because humans can't govern themselves. And Xenoblade 3 is the prime example of it. Wow. Wow. Our lives as food. Yeah, like the will of the people is a crooked will because they're all we're all inherently evil. <laughs> However, all will soon be over. The Telethia will exterminate all life on Bionis. I will then create a new world. Just as I have done many times before. We will not allow it. We cannot. We will stop you! I just wonder how long these worlds were actually around before Shulk and Rex and them came through. I shall wipe you from this world and bring forth this demise! Because we know, like, Xenoblade 2 predates 500 years, but, like, what about before that? Like, Xanza's no match for us at level 99. I'm, I'm just I'm putting it out there. He's just no match for us at level 99. I mean, can we daze him? Apparently not. But I'm pretty sure a cutscene's supposed to play. It's not possible! How can you read my movements? Yeah, like, I don't need to read your movements. I'm just stronger than you. <laughs> you mere vessels dare to oppose the will of a god. Here's Shulk's famous line. Then I shall obliterate right? Or it's after this. It, we're close to it. End him. Apparently you can't daze him. Interesting. Here's the cutscene we've all been you waiting for. The I don't know. It comes from the bottom of my heart. It shows me my enemy. It reveals the future I must change. The future we see is not set in stone. There are infinite possibilities based on the paths we choose. You should be well aware of this notion. All I'm trying to say, Fiora, is that if God wills and wants something done a certain way, it will be done that certain way, regardless of what anybody says. What's important isn't whether you can see the future or not. It's the will to make a choice. 
and the strength to seize your destiny. Oh my gosh, our seize your destiny. Our destiny is our own. Oh, here we go. Here's that line. It's coming. Can it be? He created the Minato 3. It is not only That's how you get the Minato 3. It's the very Every end. Okay. Has the freedom to choose the path they oh, that's sick. And that is the future. A third Minato has appeared. How can this have happened? That makes sense. I mean, you got three and one, you got three and two, and then you got, uh, well, technically you got four and, uh, and one, because Alex. Your existence <laughs> not be permitted. I will destroy you. In my head, I was like, I think there's going to be three. It just makes sense that there's three uh, phases to this. I think I think it's right now. Yep. The power of a god can Yep, it's it is here. Zanza. Oh. This is the providence of the world. See, Alvis is the Monado. So did Alvis split his thing into three? Although great is not unlimited. That voice. He split himself into three, didn't he? How dare you disobey me? So Al Alvis did split himself into three. Monado. That makes sense. I was here at the beginning, and I will proclaim the end. Well, well, be like, you're such such a sure. blasphemous asshole, Alvis. I hate does you. Does <laughs> belong to Zanza, or does it belong to you? That is something. I just like Alvis, no, you're go. like you. I hate, I hate the fact that you said that. You're, you're just blaspheming the Most High. I hate you. Yup, here it is. Did he just like cut through that like butter? What? All that I am is fading. The memory of a god's existence, born from the chaos of creation. It is vanishing. Yeah, but what is that gonna do to uh your other half? Here, we get the flashback of what happened. Ah, uh, yes. The, the year 20XX. This is my home. Your home? Let's begin the experiment. Whose voice was that? It is Zanza. Before he became a god. When he was simply a man of flesh and blood. Yeah, so he's not a real god. No! The results have not been confirmed! It's too dangerous! Galea! That voice. It's Maynath! Ridiculous! It's perfectly safe! So Galea is... Maynath? No way! I didn't... Honestly, I didn't Once remember that. Only a god could perform such a miracle! I do remember today, this. Mankind moves one step closer to Maynath! the divine! You see that you see a similar cutscene in uh in Xenoblade 2. Similar. Not exactly the same, but similar. Maybe more fleshed out. And whatever Klaus does does end up uh blowing the world up. <laughs> it was simple curiosity. Because that world still does technically exist. In uh, Xenoblade the 2, and created a new one. Yep. A new what he universe. Did. Your world was born, and so two gods came into existence. Zanza and Maynath were lonely, so they created life in their own image. Dude, there's so much we biblical reference in this. 
As the world advanced to each further stage, it was inherited by generations of different life forms. But over time, awareness of Zanza faded. Zanza feared this. In order to escape his own annihilation, he wished for a world in a perpetual cycle but the thing is, of destruction like, <laughs> and recreation. If you created the world, Bionis being your, filled with your life, existence can't just and the fade away like that. To wipe it out. I mean, yes, people can just choose to like be ignorant Zanza. because it's lost to time, it but that was. doesn't mean that you're still not the head. But I, the truth just, of the matter is that he longed for I just friendship. feel like it's a stupid plot hole. His future, and our future, it might have been possible for them to coexist. Correct. It's true. However, that time has passed. The old god was defeated by the new god that he himself created. New god? And technically, yes. Alvis uh, shouldn't even be in Zero, but... <laughs> before you, should. Alvis, what are you? I am the administrative computer of a phase transition experiment facility. Yep. But that will mean little to you. To you, I am a machine. A heartless, that heartless machine. Is my original form. He's a heartless machine. <laughs> this world is stagnant. It has expired. Therefore, I will ask you, its new god. I just want to know if, what is like. Your wish? Will you allow the world if to Alvis to knew what was happening in the other will you allow it to evolve other dimension to the with the Xenoblade 2 world? Because he was originally from I there. Know. All I wanted to do was stop Zanza having his way, that's all. I cannot be a god. Too right. You're great and all, but there's no way you're a god. Everyone. Look, All I'm saying is that so. people can't govern None themselves. If, if they could, then Xenoblade 3 would have and never happened. I don't happened. really know what the future holds, but we just want to live our life as it comes. Eating grub, sleeping, laughing, crying. They act Sometimes like the, arguing, tomorrow's guaranteed. Sounds all right. So, so yes. arrogant. He's right. And being with the ones we love, that's enough. Even so, I like, I mean, it's so we arrogant. change little by little. <laughs> Every day is a little different from the last. We do not know what the future will hold. More fun not knowing! Ricky want to have fun! Life's little surprises are what makes it great. We don't know what's going to happen. It's worrying sometimes, but it's also exciting. Don't you think? Yeah. Isn't that called progress? Aren't we all continuously evolving? Evolution's a scam. I'm sure we need a more dramatic change. <laughs> I'm than telling that. you. Yeah. Right. Yo, what? Listen, hey, yo, what, chat? What are you saying comes. in there, jerk? What the? That's how we should live. <laughs> That's our world. Be yeah, like, I get, I get, like Fiora's hot, but damn. <laughs> but I recreated their personalities from your consciousness. Alvis, it sounds like you don't think I can make my own decisions. I'm supposed to be the god. Apologies. However, I have good reason. I think Alvis is just this a computer, okay? Has little time remaining if left in this state. It is true. Have you made your decision. The choice is yours, creator. Not just this world, but you you impacted a different world, so that you'll find out. Hopefully in the DLC of Xenoblade 3. <laughs> I won't decide. The future should be decided by each and every person in the world. And so now a lot of theories are saying what he's saying right here is what uh a world with no gods. His wish right here is probably what is caused Xenoblade 3 to even happen. Because remember, Alvis is like the bad guy 
at least seems like the bad guy. I will say, the game does look visually stunning, though. And the music is just... Awesome. But now, I mean, since we're done the game, let's see the aftermath of his decision and what, uh, oh, so you got Homs in Colony 9. Oh, you got Machina in Colony 9. Who, who is controlling the camera? <laughs> He's alive. Yes. I'm really sorry, Colonel. Sorry. What do you mean, sorry? Squat jumps around the entire colony. Squat, squat jumps around the entire colony. Yo, that's. Oh man, you're like to be fifty laps to. That's crazy. Your legs would probably fall off. Thanks to Melia and Venea. Hey, Vinaya and Machina have some amazing technology. We are happy to help. To live alongside one another in harmony. After all, I have no doubt this is what Lady Maynath and Egil would have wanted. Yeah, honestly, I don't remember the end of this. And may it last forever. Dumban? Fiora? What is it? No, it was, Fi it was Fiora. Oh, uh, he just left. So I is she cured? Gone, but he was with Ryan and the others. Okay, thank you. Fiora? Yes? Uh... Does she look like your old self? It's nothing. Good luck. I think she looks like her, her old self because that's why they're not showing it. I forget. Like, I honestly forget. I oh, they're going to the park. Oh, look, it's Melia. Future Queen. If you're looking for Shulk, he is not here. Amazing. It's like you've got eyes in the back of your head. What were you looking at? The sea. You're like Shulk. She was looking for Shulk. <laughs> I wasn't looking at anything in particular. She was looking at the love of her life if through his bedroom window. <laughs> I was thinking. Thinking about the future that awaits us all. Wow. You're so much more thoughtful than me. Really? I don't think so. I was just answering your question. But I know what you mean. You're Do right. you though? We've been through a lot. Yes. We have. I am grateful to all of you. It is because I met you that I experienced so much. And it is the reason I am here now yes we're happy you're here too see i'm so like how how long was this after was this like i'm glad shortly you. after <laughs> was this and i you like how many months after yeah. beyond the sky is such a great song but look, it's it's R Ryan and his new family. Oh, yeah, Ryan, put your back into it. C catch that fish for your girl, Shara. Ah ha ha! <laughs> Clown, you got that bad juju on your side. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So salty. Ryan, you're terrible at this. When was the last time you fished? <laughs> I'm bad fisherman. Ricky won't eat big fish. Give us a break. You try next time, Purple. Fishing is Ryan's job. Ricky's job is eating. <laughs> Hang on a sec. 
Isn't Ocker going to have a massive go at you if you don't go back to her with 14 fish to feed all your little pond? Oh, Ricky forgot. Wifey pond very angry if not... Wifey pond. Fish. It ain't me she's going to be angry with. No, Ryan, catch fish. Catch fish oh, now. Oh, fish. <laughs> 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 I mean, like, Here you are. it sounds like Melia's, like, voice actress is singing this song. The breeze feels so good. Mm. It does. Ah, she is in her old body. Or she's wearing her old clothes, at least. Still hate the short hair, though. I'm not gonna lie. Still hate the short hair. But what about her body, though? Is she like going uh, to die? That hairstyle. It, it looks good on you. That's all. Yeah. Really? Oh, I was thinking about growing it out, but. Like, Sean, don't lie to her, bro. Stop lying. Both, of I wish I had the option. I'd choose long hair in a heartbeat. What am I supposed to say to that? Sorry. Okay. It's great like that. Don't change it. <sighs> I'd forgotten what it feels like to do this. To do what? Sit on the beach? I wonder what the future has in store for us. <laughs> Who knows? Be like, uh, Jericho in the chat sure wants, uh... Ups and downs. Be like, probably remembers what it's like to, uh... I don't know. Sit on the beach doing something. <laughs> but that means I can imagine the possibilities. We can achieve anything we put our minds to. That's a huge fish, by the way. You're right. Do you remember what the Monado, I mean Alvis, said to us the last time we saw him? What happened to Alvis? Oh, of he's course. he's gone, huh? Sure. Where'd he go? This new world is boundless. Boundless. It is home to not only you, but many forms of life. I can see it. In this world, all life will walk towards the future. Hand in hand. I think he's talking about uh, something important. Not just your world, but the world of Xenoblade 2. That's crazy. Man. The people of this endless world. Me too. We will. I know it. Mm hmm. We'll meet them, and whatever happens, we'll face our future together. We'll meet them. After playing the older, uh, the newer games, and then realizing the little subtleties, man, there is a lot for a lot of foreshadowing. A lot of foreshadowing. So Fiora's name in the Japanese is Fiorung. Hmm. I didn't know that. Alvis has two S's in the Japanese. Huh. But it makes sense. Because I'm sure their names in the Japanese mean something different. Or they're trying to go for a specific meaning for things. But I mean, overall, you know, glad uh, we got we got through the main story of Xenoblade. We really have to actually just go through. <laughs> we gotta go through a Future Connected too, which that'll be fun. I'll try. I, I want to do that quick. Because I definitely want to play Breath of the Wild. I gotta get ready for Tears of the Kingdom. But overall, music was great. Like, getting more context on how some things are in relation to 2 and 3. 
is cool. We also, it makes sense that everybody's saying that what Alvis is gone. He's actually, he is gone. I mean, they kind of alluded to it because he said, remember the last thing that Alvis said to me. So wherever Alvis is, we don't know. We don't know what happened to him. I mean, maybe he's still connected to the conduit. So we'll we'll get more context in the DLC story when we play it probably later this year. We'll see when that releases. But actually giving the game uh, more hours than I originally did it's pretty fun. More fun than I usually <laughs> I like originally was like like I kind of felt like it was a drag the first time I played it. And since it was also during like the beginning of 2020, well like mid 2020 and things were just I had my mind on everything else but this. <laughs> so, getting to play it now is uh was cool. But Yeah, so I'll just let the uh, the intro or the outro and credits play out. If uh, there's like a post credit thing, we'll see that. But we'll probably wrap up the stream here after this because I don't think we'll get that far in future connected, even if we started. Because since there's no new game plus in future connected, we kind of have to start all the way from the beginning. So, I mean, I'm going to have to grind it <laughs> a little bit, but I probably won't, like, try to grind it too much. Because I know I'm going to be having to fight everything and collect the Nopon because there's like a Nope, like your chain attack is related to Nopon in that one. There's a lot of things that go into it, but... Besides that, like we'll, we'll we'll definitely pick it back up tomorrow. And check out my YouTube channel if you want to see the replays of this of Xenoblade. If you want to see Xenoblade Two, if you want to see my Xenoblade Three playthrough, or even uh, Sonic Frontiers, uh, some Zelda content on the way, Kirby. Like, pretty much anything Nintendo-related. So, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you're watching over on YouTube. And if you've been following on Twitch, then... Oh, beautiful music, beautiful music. And if you're watching on Twitch, <laughs> make sure you follow me if you haven't. And... I appreciate you being here. So... I'll show you guys what the title screen looks like because we do have a new title screen. Which it wasn't really a new title screen because I started the game with it because I already had it, but this is what it's supposed to look like at the end. But like I said, if you're following on Twitch and you've been here watching, thank you for watching. I appreciate you. And I hope to see you when we play Future Connected on Monday. And But join me on Friday for FPS Friday, where we play Apex Legends from 10 p.m. Eastern Time to 12 a.m. Eastern Time. And we do play with viewers if they want to play. So if you reach out to me in chat, I will add you so we can play. New events going on right now called uh, the Sun Squad event. And it's pretty fun, so... Like, hopefully all the sweats won't be out on Friday, but... <laughs> I can't guarantee that. But... Without further ado, I'm your host, 1HP Tom. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday.